This disc presents 31 etudes by French composer Hélène de Montgeru. Montgeru wrote remarkable music and led an extraordinary life. I first came across her three years ago when I was performing in France and was given some of her scores by a friend. I remember being struck by two things. Firstly, that a composer could write music of such high quality, yet I had never heard of her. And secondly, by how advanced her music was stylistically. She was born just eight years after Mozart, but this music is much closer in spirit to that of Schumann and Mendelssohn, who were nearly 50 years younger than her. She really is the missing link between Mozart and Chopin. Montgeroux was born into an aristocratic family and married a Marquis when she was 20. During the French Revolution, they fled to England in 1792. After their return to France in 1793, they tried to reach the Kingdom of Naples as diplomats, but were kidnapped by Austrian soldiers in Italy and imprisoned. Hélène was released and returned to France, but was imprisoned again during the Reign of Terror, this time by revolutionary forces. She found herself on trial in front of the Committee for Public Safety and, in order to escape the guillotine, had to prove her loyalty to the new regime. Montgeroux demonstrated this by improvising a set of variations on the Marseillaise that apparently moved the judges to tears. Her legacy for keyboard comprises nine sonatas, 114 etudes, and a host of supplementary pieces, which you can find in her complete course for teaching forte piano, or the cours complet. She began to compose the etudes in 1788 for Johann Baptist Kramer, who was a student of hers. The entire set was completed in 1812, then published in 1816. There are very few copies still in existence, and it seems it was only on sale for around 18 years, after which the printing plates were destroyed. This in itself is difficult to believe because her music is so prescient, it seems impossible that the romantic generation of composers were not aware of it. We know that Fanny and Felix Mendelssohn studied with a disciple of Montgeroux in Paris, and that Felix met Hélène herself in 1825, yet there's no record that either he or his colleagues knew the corps complet. So many of the etudes resemble Mendelssohn's songs without words, though they were published 17 years before his first set. There are textures that remind me very strongly of Schumann, and the frequent references to Baroque composers such as Bach and Handel are something that she shares with the Romantic generation. Montgeroux writes extended introductions for each of the etudes, and in these she emphasises the need to make the piano sing with a very intense, true legato. This preoccupation with long singing lines reminds me of Clementi, a contemporary of hers, and puts her in the same camp as Bellini and Chopin. That music of this quality could exist but be unknown is testament to the substantial barriers women faced in writing and disseminating their music. In Montreux's case, this was complicated by the fact that during her lifetime, aristocrats were also forbidden from performing in public. Her music making was restricted to private salons, and she only considered publishing after her friend, Madame de Stael, published her first book. Very little of her correspondence survives, and after the etudes were published in 1816, we have no record of any further compositions. Piecing together what happened during her life, who knew her music, who she might have influenced, is very challenging. Taking all this into account, the premonitions that we find in her music are all the more remarkable. 
I hope very much that these etudes will achieve the renown and the popularity that they deserve, and that this disc introduces a new audience to her astonishing music.